Hi, and happy National Poetry Month, everyone. My name is Jane Byers, and I'm delighted to be reading today from my hometown of Nelson, British Columbia. I want to thank the BC Federation of Writers and the League of Canadian Poets for sponsoring uh, this poetry reading for National Poetry Month. Well, this is a little weird to be reading uh, this um, instead of doing a live performance at the Kootenai Gallery in Castlegar. Um, it also presents an opportunity for our poetry to travel a little uh, further across Canada. And I think right now uh, many people are turning to poetry and they need poetry for uh, the times that we're living in, just as they did after 9-11 uh, when really the only books that were being bought in bookstores were uh, poetry collections. In keeping with the World of Poetry theme for National Poetry Month, I've chosen to read some poems written about and uh, from other parts of the world. It also occurs that there are many parallels between the current pandemic and the AIDS epidemic. So I've selected a couple of poems from my 2016 collection uh, entitled uh, Acquired Community. I'm going to be reading a couple of poems from there. Uh, and this collection uh, is about uh, lesbian and gay history. Michael Lynch was a gay activist and scholar during the AIDS epidemic. He founded the AIDS Committee of Toronto, AIDS Action Now. Uh, he was a professor at the University of Toronto, a Walt Whitman scholar. And um, when I was in the middle of doing uh, the research for this book, Acquired Community, I went to um, the reference library in Toronto and uh, I wrote, ended up writing a poem about trying to find his out of print poetry collection called These Waves of Dying Friends. So I'm going to start there. This poem is called After Michael Lynch's These Waves of Dying Friends. The book is at the Toronto Reference Library. White ribbons of floors around grand stairs, open space and security guards. 1.6 million volumes five floors of books, and Michael's is in the stacks. The apogee of my research, this thin collection of activism and mourning. I've come 2,000 miles to read this out of print elegy, written by a professor, founding father of ACT, early warning signal against panic, dad, before he succumbed at 46. It feels like I have the last one. With each page I turn, the sheets fall in my hands. Gone brittle, the glue does not hold. To preserve the pages, I need Michael's famous yellow kitchen gloves, used for mocking the police, similarly gloved at AIDS protests. We want you all beside us on these steps, this other dance floor, gloved fists in the air. But no, they're more apt for activism, and I sit here. Give me archivists' gloves instead. What if he were still alive? What if they all were? He was wrong when he said, leave eloquence to those who haven't lost their first half dozen friends. Michael, I need both pair of gloves now.